Hello, you're listening to Done, the weekly podcast about how good structure simplifies our work days every week, all year around. Today's episode is about what to do when your to-do list seemingly competes with your case management system. Does someone who has a case management system really need a to-do list? It is apparent what to do next by looking in the system, so there is no need for you to remember anything yourself. And uh, what about those who have a CRM system? The next activity for the client you are working for at the moment is ready, and the system can remind you when it is time to do the activity if you want it to. Not to mention the project tool. Whoever uses one or several of these have all the steps of the process readily available in the tool, so why should they need a to-do list as well? The only straight answer to these questions is, that depends. You need a separate to-do list if the activities in the system are so ambiguously formulated that you still find other ways of remembering to call someone, or email, or check, or schedule something, etc. And you also need a separate to-do list if you only update the case or project prior to the coordination meetings or even just before closing the whole case or project. Here is the deal. If you do not use the case management system to keep track of all the small things you have to do, such as calling, emailing, writing, sending, call someone back, convene colleagues for meetings, etc., then you still have to keep these things in your head or written on notes in an app or somewhere else. You have no use of the system in terms of remembering what you have to do. Do this. If you do not believe you need a to-do list since you already have a project tool, a CRM system and a case management system, then at least ask yourself the following two questions. Do I write down the things I need to remember to do in some place other than in the systems I am using? And do I check several tasks off at the same time in the system and not very often at that, rather than checking the tasks off one by one as I complete them? If you answered yes to one of these questions, you need a real to-do list in addition to whatever system you are currently using. If you already have one, then you have already dealt with this issue. If not, then determine what the one and only location you write down all the tasks you need to do, which you do not do immediately, will be. If you're lucky, you will be able to add the tasks to your case management or project or CRM system so that they automatically synchronize with your digital to-do list. For instance, like you can for Outlook's tasks, if you are using Outlook for emailing. If you get yourself one single to-do list in spite of having a case management system or something similar, you will have a clear and concise way to gather all your tasks which are not concerned with the cases you are managing in the systems. You will thereby get much clearer overview of all your commitments and will be able to influence your working situation to a greater extent. With less things cluttering your mind, you will be able to focus on and think about much more important matters. You will also be less distracted by something you happen to catch a glimpse of since it was at the top of the pile and will be able to maintain greater focus in your work. Have you combined a to-do list with some form of cooperative system so that it actually works well for you? If so, write to me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me all about it. Project and case management systems are becoming increasingly common and many people are therefore in need of rethinking their structure. In doing so, your tip could be very useful. Thank you for joining me today. See you again next week.